First is Freezing Point. This is a school life story about a strong and outgoing Omega and an Alpha who is so weak that he's become the target of bullies. It's a great concept because usually it's the other way around and it is interesting to see a whimpering Alpha. This also has the theme of faded mates or destined pairs, whatever you want to call it, so you can see which direction it's heading, but I don't mind because I love that trope. The art style is really weird, but in a good way. The characters are very alien-ish and I didn't really like the look of them, but it was just hard to take my eyes off them. I think the colouring with a lot of texture also really suited it. It does have this theme of really horrible parents, so I don't know how much longer I can stand it. It's so angsty and filled with drama already and it's only just started. It did feel a little bit chaotic, but I want to see how this story is going to progress. Next is Oblivious Mr. B. The main character is an office worker and one night he's working late when he finds an Omega in heat who pounces on him. He decides to start dating the Omega to take responsibility even though he's a beta, but the Omega is not actually who he says he is. It's got a good twist so that's all I can say. I don't want to spoil it. It's such a shame this is so short. The story was actually really decent and it could have been a lot better if it was just a bit longer. But despite being so short, it actually pulled off a really enjoyable story. It's super cute and has really likeable characters. I think the art style was nice, but it could have used a bit more work in the facial expressions. Next is Wolves Behind Bars. It's a story about a young Omega who was falsely imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. And to make matters worse, something went wrong with the paperwork and he's end up sent to an all-alpha prison. Although while he's there, he meets an alpha who doesn't seem so bad and even ends up protecting him. His real intentions, though, might not be so kind. This comic is filled with twists. I know I've been over this before in another video, but I had to mention it again because at the time there wasn't many chapters and it finally got picked up. It's so good and the characters, oh my god, I love the semi so much, but I also hate him. You will end up questioning everything about these characters and the plot, not to mention the prison setting which is so rare to see and the gorgeous art style. Next is Love Percentage. So two friends spend the night together and then one of them leaves without a trace. Years later the main character can't forget him and his first love but after looking everywhere for him he turns up as his new neighbour and also with a child that looks exactly like him. It's really cliche, I mean super super cliche, but like, look at this adorable little child. I really can't help it, all logic just goes out the window when there's a baby involved. It is so cute. It's a drama-filled story with a love triangle, kind of. It's got a long-lost love slash first lovers kind of trope. It's got every trope you want to see in one comic. It's really wholesome as well, but it's got those naughty scenes. I wouldn't say it's balanced, but it does have a lot going on, so you won't get bored. Board. Next is Haven. So the two main characters' parents get remarried and they become brothers. One is working as a food stylist and the other is a model. Although their relationship goes beyond more than just brothers but also lovers. So there's a bit of incest going on if you're okay with that. I felt mixed emotions when starting this comic. There's a lot of mystery with the characters and the backstory but it is just still laying down the foundation of the plot. I must admit I am intrigued by these characters. They definitely have a lot of layers to them. While the Uki is this nice, kind, caring type, he has these little outbursts of rage. As well as the Semi, while on the surface seems fun, loving, and playful, he's got a real darkness to him. Like, why was he watching his little brother on a screen? Overprotective, possessive type maybe? The art style definitely needs a little bit of work with its proportions, but it's really not that noticeable. Noticeable. Next is Can't Help It. The main character is a beta after accidentally bumping into someone and Alpha notices his pants have fallen down. He's totally embarrassed and runs out, but then the Alpha can't stop thinking about his butt. The Alpha is such an immature brat and it is so funny. He gets really jealous, but he's so stubborn and the beta is so blunt with him. I really like the 
characters. It's a comedy, it's lighthearted, and for once, it's a story about an alpha and a beta. It's rarer to see those relationships. I really love betas. I feel so bad for them because they don't have pheromones and it's kind of sad. So I like it when I get to read stories about alphas and betas or omegas and betas. Unfortunately, this is just so short. We're already into the side stories, which is so disappointing. I really wanted to see more and because it's finished already, the plot feels really rushed. Next is Omega's love affair. The main character is an Omega who is about to be forced into going into a matchmaking event. That's when a well-known alpha from school approaches him with the same problem. So he offers him a deal to pretend to be lovers. At first glance, this seems to be quite predictable and in a way it is, but it's got some surprises and it's an enjoyable read. I loved the art style. The alpha is hot and the Omega with his choker, I don't even know why he's wearing it, but I'm definitely not complaining. It's got drama and comedy, but I would say it leans more towards the drama side. The relationships with all the characters are very complicated, but it makes for an interesting story. Next is Alpha Mate. The main character is an alpha who is experiencing his first rut, so his father gets him what's called an Alpha Mate, which is basically just a person to have sex with. But after this, he finds out that his Alpha Mate is his first love from years ago. Okay, wow. So it seems in this AU, alphas are treated rather cold and they're labeled as beasts. Also, the alpha mate is a beta, which usually betas can't help out with an alpha's rut, only omegas can. But those rules don't necessarily have to be followed, so this omegaverse is quite different with a lot of unique aspects. It is so dramatic. The alpha likes him, but he thinks he's only with him because of the contract, so there's so many misunderstandings. It's just that type of drama, and the father, honestly, oh my god, I wish he would literally drop off the face of the earth. You might think I'm exaggerating when I say that, but once you start reading it, you'll totally agree. The art style is super pretty and it's a good complicated romance. Next is My Stallion. It's a story about an Omega who works as a doctor in a lab, but he's been tasked with looking after a well-known man. He's also warned about his cunning activities, but yet falls for his tricks immediately. It's a bit confusing. There's a lot of genetic engineering going on in this Omegaverse, which made the beginning of the story kind of hard to follow. But I did instantly like the characters. Not only does the Alpha have a really interesting personality, the Omega looking after him is definitely not what he seems either. I'm interested to see where this is going to lead and how a relationship will develop between these two. Also, the art style is so bright, it's fun, and the character designs are super attractive. Man is pretty AF. And last is Willow Love Story. The main character is an alpha and also a prince. He has taken interest in a guy from the palace who at first seems to be an Omega, but he knows straight away that he isn't. This Omega has been forced by his family to take medication to mimic the traits of an Omega, but he's actually just an ordinary guy. It's a little cliche, poor Omega who gets abused by his family, gorgeous, rich, prince comes in to save the day. But I still really liked it. Especially the character designs, a historical Omegaverse are uh, yes please. The alpha changes outfits almost in every chapter and it's really great to see so much diversity in a wardrobe. The setting is a bit weird though because it's like historical but also modern as well. You get the best of both worlds though and majority of the characters were really likeable. Some were infuriating. So so that's it for this video. Those are all of my recommendations. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!